Hello there, wonderful singers, and welcome to your Covo vocal exercise of the week. I'm Dr. Julia Nielsen, the founder of Covo, which is short for community vocalizing. And here at Covo, it is a new month, it's May, and that means a new theme for our twice weekly general vocal workouts. And this month's brand new theme is ICE, I-C-E, which stands for intention, communication, and expression. Now, those of you who have attended my workouts or seminars have likely come to know me as a technical teacher, and it is true, I am fascinated by the science of the voice. I love anatomy, physiology, acoustics, all of it. And I love helping singers to learn better vocal technique. That is how to make the best possible sounds. But I also always remind my students that technique must be used in the service of expression, of communicating something, an emotion, a character, a story. But meanwhile, most singers often vocalize without any sense of this communication. And I'm actually including myself here. Well, this can be a challenge when we try to transition to repertoire. If we have not studied how various emotions and intentions affect our bodies, our faces, our voices, we often struggle to maintain technical consistency while attempting to communicate. So this month at Kovo, we're gonna bridge that gap in our vocalizing. Every exercise that we sing in our workouts will have a specific intention behind it, which brings us to our Kovo vocal exercise of the week. Sing with love. This simple exercise is very special to me because I learned it from someone that I loved very much. Now, a little story. Uh, when I was in the fourth grade, I joined my church's junior choir and the director was a wonderful, magical man named Alden Gilchrist. He was the music minister at this church, Calvary Presbyterian Church in San Francisco. And he held that post for over 60 years. He was also my musical grandpa from the time that I was nine years old until he passed away 10 years ago. At various times throughout the decades that I knew him, he coached me, he taught me, and he was a musical compass for me in many ways. And I learned this simple exercise from him. It is set to the Italian words, io tamo, which mean, I love you. And the melody goes like this. As you sing it, hold on to the meaning of the words. Think of someone you love and sing this exercise to them, a partner, a parent, a child, a friend. Let that emotion color your voice. I'll be singing it in Italian, which is on the top line, io tamo. But if you would prefer to sing it in English, the second line, please do so. So let's give it a try. to change who you are singing to. Does your love for this new person change the way your voice sounds or feels? Give this a try.
maybe change who you're singing to one last time. play with this exercise in the coming week and to experiment in general with bringing intention, communication, and expression into your vocal exercises as we have done today. Now, if you are not already joining our twice weekly live online vocal workouts, we would love to have you. These sessions are absolutely free. We meet on Zoom every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Pacific time and instructions on how to request our free Zoom link are in the description below. If you would like the next vocal exercise of the week to show up in your email inbox, you can find out how in the description below. And singers, remember, regular vocal exercise is the key to your vocal health, fitness, and longevity. Every time you show up at Covo, you're gonna get a creative vocal workout, expert coaching, and a community of friends to practice with. We'll see you there.